We're close, but so are the sons of Svanir. I see multiple trails overlapping Minotaurs. They're closing in. The sons are moving in small parties. If we're careful, we can take out one group at a time before they even notice. Cunning tactics. I like it. Assuming careful doesn't mean gentle. Absolutely not. Just don't draw any attention to yourself. Apart from that, we can hit them as hard as we like. That's what I wanted to hear. Let's get started. Easy, Garm. There it is. The spirit of Minotaur. The sons of Svanir have it surrounded. Not for long. Hey! The Minotaur spirit is under our protection. Lower your weapons and back away. Never. This is our prey and you're poaching. I'll poach your head and hang it by the Elkhorns and Holbrek. Now back off! Last chance! Kill them, brothers! Dragon's minion must feed! Relax, Slayer. The spirit knows we're not enemies. Look closely. You'll see recognition in his eyes and a strong measure of gratitude. Now look at his wounds, how haggard and weak he is. See the mud on his hooves? Looks like it's from Dark Riven Bluffs. He probably picked up the mud and the wounds at the same place. And that's where we'll find them, the sons and the captive minotaurs. So, how do we get past the guards to rescue the prisoners? We could dress up like beer merchants, get the sons drunk, and trick our way in. Good. Or you could ask for Minotaur's blessing. If he transforms you into a Minotaur, you could get close enough to break them out. 
So, fool some drunken sons or cause a minotaur stampede. Let me know what you decide. Legends have to learn to make choices like this. The journey continues. You have my attention. 